Mmm. Fajita mix. Babe, where are the tortillas? They're out. Oh, Dios mio. We're out of tortillas. Gotta get to the shop. Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyston Grove, and today we're gonna make a tortilla press. Let's get into it. I used a few cutoffs of cherry for the main body of the press and the brackets that will hold the handle. Using the bandsaw, I cut notches in the brackets and the bottom piece of the press. I used a chisel to finish off the notches in the bottom pieces, but you could also use a coping saw. I dug up some scraps of walnut for the handle and the rest piece for the handle. I started by shaping the handle on the bandsaw. And then this happened. The bandsaw started shaking so violently that it broke the blade tensioning mechanism. Now I picked this bandsaw up about five years ago from a second hand store for around 60 bucks and it has worked fine but it has always had an issue with the blade tensioning mechanism not wanting to hold its place. So long my friend, you have served me well. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas of how this could be repaired without costing more than the saw is worth. After I was done mourning, I used the drill press to drill holes in the brackets and the handle. Then I finished the shaping of all the pieces on the bench sander. I decided to put a chamfer on the edges of the top and bottom pieces of the press. Then it was time for the glue up. For some additional strength, I put a screw in each of the brackets. I used some cherry tinted wood putty to fill all the little gaps. And then after some sanding, I applied Odie's oil for the finish. I found a piece of quarter inch aluminum dowel in my dowel bucket and decided to use that for the handle's pivot point.
When attaching the hinges, I use some washers as spacers between the top and bottom pieces. This will help determine the thickness of the tortillas. After adding the hinges, I added some little rubber feet on the bottom. Where's the stuff for the fajitas? That was last week. I ate it. Oh, man. All right, our tortilla press is finished. Let's go over a few of the details real quick. One of the first things that I would change is this chamfer. As you can see in the back here with the hinges, it really limited me with the size hinges that I could use by having such a large chamfer. So if I ever made one of these again, I would either put a smaller chamfer or use a thicker piece of wood to give myself more room to use something else. Number two, and this is easily avoided, is when I glued in these little brackets, Somewhere along the line, gluing up, one of them got twisted a little bit out of alignment, so they weren't exactly parallel, which meant it gave me a little hard time putting in my dowel, and it also means that the handle is slightly off to one side, which is pretty much going to bother me for all eternity. Forever. This could easily be avoided by just putting a little spacer in between the brackets and putting another clamp up here as you're gluing them up and that will keep them perfectly parallel so your dowel will slide in nice and smooth and your handle will stay nice and straight. Other than that, I really enjoyed making this project. It was really easy and I love the opportunity to use hardwood and something that is gonna be seen and used on a regular basis. I just love the grain on this cherry, how it changes the color. It just looks so cool. And the little addition of the walnut is just a nice pop on this. Now you don't have to use hardwoods like this. A lot of times people make these presses out of just pine and they'll work perfectly fine. We work on a new project every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.